Time for another technical chart analysis. Very timely, this one as well. For Fisker, ticker symbol FSR, just provided by Sensei Crypto to prepare you for the week ahead. And now, on with the video. Thank you, Martin. Yes, let's have a look at FSR, the technicals, and let's see if we can squeeze any more money out of um, FSR. We've already made 30, 40, 50% on the upside, 50% to the downside, 10% to the upside. We've done a lot of trades of FSR. Let's see how we're going to trade it this week. I'm going to give you the short term trades for this week and, and, and see the targets of the longer term. So do stick around to the end and I'll, and I'll show you how I think 150% the upside is my target as well in the longer term. So I'll show you exactly those trades, the areas I'll be buying and the areas I'll be selling personally. Um, and we'll see if there's any news articles on FSR um, for this week as well. So if you're enjoying the FSR coverage, if you're enjoying looking at the charts, if you want to make money with FSR, please do hit the like button. If we do get 100 likes, I'll be doing another one of these videos for you guys to keep you updated on the charts, on the news. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. Okay, let's get on with the video. So let's quickly zoom out a little bit and look at how we've been trading in the past. In the past, how we've been trading this was just through this purple trend line. Every time it hits it, we were looking at gains of at least 30 to 50%. Those were the minimum. Gains would get every time we'd be trading this and buying it at the purple trend line. We're connecting the dots to the downside. We did it one more time in December. And then again, we were trying to do it in February. Of course, the news came out of possible bankruptcy. This stock took a dive to the downside um, ever since it closed at sort of 30 cents. Once the stock opened, we were straight down at around um, 16 cents. So if everything works out fine, if we do get a deal, if we do get announcement of um, of, of um, financing or, or acquisition, or if Nissan comes out um, in, in a few days time and gives their three year plan and they um, <clears throat> give information that they're working with um, acquiring a new EV company, or if they have any mention of Fisker, then my target, as I said, is back at these levels that we did gap down to. So there is a gap that needs to be closed if the good news comes out and that's about 133% up to, in the upside. That's back at the 30 cents level. So if you're holding on and that happens, that might be the first area to be selling if you're looking at longer term. However, the, the main way we've been making our money with FSR is on the shorter term trades. So we go down to the four hour time frame, which every candle represents four hours. During, um, during this time, we've been buying it at 15 cents. The best trade we've done so far was buying it at 15 cents and selling it at 21 cents. Um, that, that was basically a um, about a 45% gain in eight hours. Um, and then again, that's the point we set, sold. We haven't really been buying this stock until we hit um, 11 cents. So we've saved about 43%. Again, we came back up to the purple trend line. So the purple trend line is now acting as support and resistance. So we went back up um, and we were looking to sell back at 15 cents. Then a short was opened. I opened a short. The reason I opened a short and we got a re-entry to it as well, which was great. The reason we opened a short is because we had that downtrend that happened on, on Tuesday. This was when we were trading live. So if you see that we uh, there's a live circle, please do click, click on it and, and come into the live show. If not, we are live about eight hours a day. So do, do join the live. We were trading live on Tuesday. We had this bear flag. It looked like we we're heading to downside. Um, so I was bearish on the stock. The entry was about 14 cents. We came up to 14 cents for a re-entry and then our target was reached the exact dollar at 11, um, 0.1165. So that short position, I know a lot of people don't like shorting the stock, but you have to try and make money both ways. If you understand trading, again, I'm not giving financial advice, but that was a 15% short to downside and that's without leverage. What we've been doing now is in consolidating, um, uh, accumulating, uh, not doing much really <laughs> in, in the essence is, is um, however you like to word it, we've just been going sideways. The buy zone was the exit of that short. So that buy zone was at 0 0.1172. If we get it again, that is my buy zone. You can see this rectangle marked here. It's between um, um, 11, it's, it's, it's basically 11 cents to 12 cents. That's the buy zone. If you wanna be at buying the, ch the cheap FSR, that's where you'll be buying it. Of course, you can go below this zone, but this is why I deem it to be a bit lower risk to be buying FSR, especially if you like the fundamentals, you think it's going to recover. 
and then that would be the area to be buying it. This this company is only worth $66 million right now. Um, so you can think of it that way. You don't have to think of it as 11 cents. You can think of it as this is a $66 million company right now. Do you think it's worth more? If you think it's worth more, then you're at an area you might want to be buying. Um, at what point do you want to sell it? At $122 million market cap? Are you, are you happy to let $200 million market cap? Is that what you think it's worth? Then at that point, you can try and see what price that is. Um, for example, if you think it's worth 100 and um, something like, uh, what would it be? 122, $120 million market cap, something like that, then you might be looking at selling it at between 25 and 30 cents. That's where you might want to put your limit order. If that's what you think the company's valued at, just above $150 million market cap, you're looking at 25 cents. If you do get that, that's where you want to be putting your, your limit orders. So it's a complicated one to trade. You, you don't want to start FOMOing in. You don't want to start buying or selling you just want to have a clear plan i want to buy at 11 cents and i'm going to sell it at 35 cents if i don't if it goes below 11 cents i'm not going to buy any more i've already got my that's that that was my plan to buy at 11 and sell at 35 cents if it never hits 35 cents you know that you're not going to chase it you're not going to try and buy more that's just your, your plan set in stone you don't that's the amount of money you, you can afford to lose and you don't want to do any more uh, and for me that would be that would be the plan for me buying at 11 cents it was this is the beauty of the short. It was the exit of the short. You made money on the short. You can then use that money that you shorted uh, and made money from to buy it at 11 cents. Or was it 0.1162? You can then decide to buy it and then you then in instantly made 20%. So that's the beauty of trading. We're going, there is no perfect buy point right now. So you're going to have to wait. You're going to have to come into live shows and see, is there any good news in what is the next level to buy it? But for me, the next level to be buying it is, bet is between 11 cents and 12 cents. Um, and then the best area to be selling it will probably be 14 cents first. And then you're looking at maybe maybe somewhere around 15 cents. And if it, and if the deal comes back on the table, then you look at 32 cents. And then once you get past that, once the deal comes back on the table, then we can definitely start looking at some of these higher price targets um, at, at $1 or 60 cents or 70 cents. But we need that deal to come through. We need um, the company to come out with a, with a statement telling us that everything's fine, that they're going to start selling cars again, that they're going to start producing cars. Um, but, but in the meantime, I'm gonna keep you updated. I'm gonna be coming live. Um, but there, there, there is no specific buy out where, where we are right now. The next level will be around the um, 11 and a half cents. But I'll pass it back to you, Martin, um, and thank you for that. Thank you, Sensei. Another great job. If you'd like further information, click above my head, down below in the description. Over here and over here, you'll find more information. Till next time, as always, take care of yourselves and each other.